Okay, all right, three, two, one. Fessy, as one of the coaches in this program, what does a day like this mean to you guys as a coaching staff? It's, it's super rewarding. It's cool to just see a lot of uh, hard work pay off for some of these guys who we've developed really, really close relationships with. Um, it's cool to see all the former players, our current players, um, kind of see what, what, what can happen. You know, when you work hard and you, you approach the game like all these guys who are a part of this pro day did uh, when they were here. So it's, it's a really gratifying experience for all of us. And um, I'm sure we're not as excited as, as the guys participating, but I'm sure it's pretty close. Have you guys ever, as a coaching staff, ever tried to do any of these drills, like now? Or like, where, where do you think you guys would, who do you think would do the best with that? Uh, well, first off, if we did it, all these, if we did that, all these uh, scouts would actually be um, doctors, trainers, <laughs> for all the blown muscles everywhere. Um, but probably Harvey and Preston, you know. Okay. Little, some of the younger, more explosive guys who still got it left in them. <laughs> Dax is a guy that obviously is getting a lot of attention coming off just a fantastic year, but there are a lot of other receivers, guys that have, have played in the program previously are going to come back and give it another try. What, what do you view this receiving core and what they're looking to do today? How do you view their chances at the next level? I think, you know, each, each one of them brings something different. You know, um, obviously Dax being fresh off the season he just had is just super well-rounded. You know, Micah is another guy that, that – just him and Aleva never got the fair shot, and, I, and I'm happy that they get a chance. But both of those, both Micah and Aleva, I think, have a great chance. I know Aleva landed in the camp and was able to get, you know, bounced around a little bit. Um, but to be able to kind of put together a full pro day, I think, is, is, is only fair. And I'm excited to watch him. And then I believe uh, Bachelor Johnson uh, is the last one who's given it a crack, and I'm you know, just excited to see what he does. But all, all these guys bring something really different to the table. Each one of them, I think, have, has a chance to, to play at the next level if there's a the right fit out. How much contact have you had this year with NFL scouts? Is, is it significantly more than in years past? Is it about the same? Give everybody an idea of what that's like and how you handle all of those inquiries from guys at the, at the pro level. This year it was significantly a lot more. You know, every year I, you know, I get kind of whatever the standard amount is. This year it was times who knows what. And, and a lot of, obviously, a ton of interest in Dax. People just wanted to know his story, a little bit more about him, um, the details from the coach's standpoint. And then almost all of them that called about Dax would just ask about Zach as well and, and understood early involvement with him. And, and so it was really a really cool experience. I didn't mind any, uh, any chance I have to promote our guys and guys who I really believe deserve a shot and are great people. I'll, I'll take all the time in the world to endorse those guys. So it's, it's definitely a lot more this year, but I, I've enjoyed it all. So what's your role today? Just kind of going around observing, answering questions. What, what do you plan to do today? Yeah, that's all it is. A answer questions, um, look, have fun, and then probably Uncle Rico a little bit and be like, oh, yeah, I probably would have ran a 4 3 40 as well, so even though that's not true. Fessy, great stuff. Thanks so much for the time. Appreciate it. No problem. Thanks. Cool. Good job. Appreciate it. Thanks, man. Enjoy. Thanks. You too.